North Extra. That's Sunday, 2 p.m. WVU against number 21 picked the backyard brawl. Wrestling actually is a brawl. It, I mean, it, I mean, really, it is a brawl. It is really a brawl. Yes, exactly. exactly. A couple brawlers here: Michael Wolfgram and Jacob Padilla. Padilla out of Huber Heights, Ohio. He's battled back from some health issues. He had some complications with long COVID. It kept him off the mat a long time. Michael Wolfgram tied for the team lead with four major decisions, 11 and six on the season, 41 wins in his Mountaineer career. Yeah, and I don't think he was all that happy with his Midlands performance, to be honest with you. And, and uh, this is the beginning of trying to turn that around and getting himself back in a good position. Two for Wolfgram. He's got a count early on. It could be much more than that. And Michael Wolfgram. You end up with that four points. He's going to get a four-point yep. major fall. Well, he was pinned at Midlands by a wrestler from Pitt. So a guy who he stands to see here 48 hours from now. There's a good chance of that. Yeah. Actually, less than that, probably, right? Last loss at Midlands for Wolfgram was to the number seven ranked wrestler in the country from Harvard. Six nothing here in the first period, halfway through. Trying to pin that shoulder up on his back, right? And use that leverage to turn the camera and, and sort of like in a bar position. It's a little challenging to do from there for a variety of reasons, most of them being that, well, now he's in, in not a great spot. Oh, well, Padilla what? sort of collapsed and sort of bailed him out on that. Now he's got the cradle. He's Another count as Padilla's in the cradle. Looks like he got a two count on that one. Now, Wolfram, you got to drive through, right? Get your hand out of there and drive through. One thing that Tim Flynn said about Michael Wolfram from his performance at Midlands is that if he had picked up his pace just a little bit more, especially in the bout against the Harvard wrestler, he probably wins that. And he might, right? So now he's definitely so doing some nice stuff here, right? It's chain wrestling. It's one thing to the next. We're seeing a quicker pace tonight out of Michael Wolfram. And another count from Wolfram. And he's going from one thing to another. He's not really stopping and pausing. And, and what he did a nice job of there was he just turned that position into sort of a power half. And, and it's all over fall. Michael Wolfram with the cherry on top of this dual win against Ohio. Picks up his team leading fifth major decision of the season. And he pins Jacob Padilla with 40 seconds to go in the first period. Class act here, Michael Wolfgram is going to go over to check on Padilla as the athletic trainer will come out to attend to Padilla. So Wolfgram gets the win. 28-9 is going to be the final. Here's how we did it, Tony. Well, and look, he, you see Padilla with that arm pretty and that shoulder pretty well bandaged up. And Wolfram just does a nice job here eventually. He gets into that, that power half position. And here he just sort of settles himself down. And Padilla's in trouble. So when you're a heavyweight on your back, that's a tough spot to be in. And, just take some time and there's a fall. Padilla onto his feet on his own power. The attention was on his left arm. So that's good to see for Jacob Padilla. He's up and, and moving around and West Virginia gets the major win tonight, 28 to nine, seven bouts that he win tonight. Who impressed you the most for West Virginia this evening? Well, that's a good question. I thought Sam Hilligus did a great job in being pretty dominant all the way through there. Jordan Titus wrestled a really nice match, I thought, in preparation.